Rightio, let me have a look here. Naya TV 2022, exciting stuff. Shot show, this is gonna be great. But look, I think we'll have to take Ken and Bushy. There's a bit of a COVID issue, but hey, I'll just see if they're keen to come. Righto boys, I've just come down from Rob's office and we are going to SHOT Show. I'm not going to SHOT Show. You're not going to SHOT Show? No. COVID? Hello? You're not going to come? No. Well, we're going to have to take Brad. Yeah. 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 Yes, and the new guy. Yeah. yeah. Who else would be stupid enough to go to SHOT Show? G'day, Matt here from Naya TV. I've got Brad with me, I've got the Shrekmeister, and we're up to SHOT Show 2022. Boys, are you excited? Excited. <coughs> Let's do it. The flight Brisbane to Sydney. It was the best I'd ever had. The whole team got the fly business, and I got relegated to the back. I had the best toasted sandwich I think I have had ever in my life. Ugh. That toasted sandwich. That toasted There's a few sandwich. moments that blokes will remember in their life, oh, yeah. you know, the yeah. birth of their kids. That toasted sandwich. That was Food was good. Um, the best cheese and crackers I'd had in a long time. So yeah, if we go to LA, then we've got to do a transfer. We've got to get to the domestic Alaska Airlines. Shrek thought he knew the way. Shrek didn't have a clue. Right, our confusion reigns supreme. Shrek has taken us down the wrong way. We're just trying to figure it out. We think Josh knows where we're going, so this is good. He's never been here before. I knew exactly where we were going. Google Maps told us we were going the right way. It's clearly a Las Vegas airport problem. Arriving in Vegas, couldn't wait to get to the hotel, ready for a drink, ready for some dinner, and we got held up because someone's bag didn't show up. It wasn't good. Two and a half days of not having any new clothes, underpants inside out, back to front. Oh, let me tell you, it couldn't happen to a nicer bloke, but really sick of smelling him. It was, ugh. anyway. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at this. Well, here we are. We have finally made it. 2022, boys. Shot show. Let's go, boys. So day one arrives, Tuesday, up bright and early. Head to first day of the shot show. We get to the Vista booth where, where all the Bushnell products are. And guess what? The 4500 Elites are back. The 4 to 16 by 50 looks a fantastic scope. We've got them shipping to Australia as we speak. Check out the video. We're gonna go with the Elite 4500 series and give you a quick run through on this. So the Elite 4500 comes in three different configurations. There's a one to four, there's a two and a half to 10, and a four to 16. So all three of these will have a multi-X crosshair or traditional crosshair reticle. Exo, our patented exo barrier, which protects against dirt, dust, fog, and water. Um, so great when the weather conditions are less than ideal. So these scopes are really comfortable to get behind. You'll notice that they're really forgiving. So we've all experienced when you get behind a scope and you'll see a black ring in a narrowed field of view. What the Elite 4500 series is gonna limit that. So no matter whether you have the rifle or you hand it to a family member or a friend, they're gonna be able to get really comfortable behind it and be able to take a shot when it matters. The Caldwell Claymore. I loved it. It was such a great way to get into the SHOT Show. New product, something that the industry's not seen before. No batteries. Here's Trent to show you how it goes. We have our new product we're gonna show you. It's called the Caldwell Claymore. I mean, it's everything you love about an electric play thrower without having to lug a battery around. So this is a foot pedal operated play thrower. There's a standard mode and a flurry mode. The standard mode, you push the pedal down to cock it. The other little lever on the side to launch the clay. There's also a flurry mode which is a continuous step and throw sequence. So on the main pedal there, you'll just step down. As soon as you let up, it'll launch the clay. So this is the flurry mode. Standard mode is cock, and then launch. It's amazing how the BOG series of tripods and monopods and bipods have been so popular in the Australian market. In fact, the Death Grip has been one of our number one best sellers. But I tell you what, it was definitely worth checking out the BOG Infinite at SHOT Show 2022.
Hi, I'm Jason with Bog. I'm the brand manager. Been here for a couple years. Been working on the death grips, and this is something that we were planning on coming with when we introduced the original death grip. So what we have with us is the new Death Grip Infinite series. This is the aluminum version here. It weighs in at seven pounds with the head, but it actually features the ball head version. We have also have twist locks, but this ball head is with something that the customers have been asking for, and we've been waiting to, to get to them. So you'll see the functionality of it, the pan, the tilt, all that. We can actually take this head off. So it's an Arca Swiss system. You'll get an optics plate with this as well, so you can put a spotting scope on. All you've got to do is undo here, pull that gun out, slide in your spotting scope, or whatever it is. You can uh, SLR camera, or whatever you want. Anything that hooks to this Arca Swiss. This is the, the brother to the aluminum we've already seen. This is five pounds, 14 ounces. Uh, the same great ball head design, the Arca Swiss adjustment, so you can pop this death grip head off put a optics plate, whether it's a spotting scope, an SLR camera, a bino rest, any of that stuff can slide on quickly. This goes prone to shooting, so prone it shoots at about a nine inch bipod height and you can stand, if you're a six five guy, you can easily shoot off of this. Well, let me tell you what happened that day. Get up early, I still don't have my bag. Oh, back to this. I've gone and bought a new suit, I've gone and bought all this new stuff, and just as I'm dragging all this bag to bring it all home with, and as we bring it back, I rock up to the wind, and they say, So I just want to let you know that you're back at right, and we will set up for deliver, okay? Yes. It's only been three days. So we wake up, day two of the show, after a beautiful dinner the night before, disaster strikes. Day two, I didn't leave the hotel room. <laughs> is, that, is that what you wanted? <laughs> Shreky, he's not feeling good. Josh, he wasn't feeling any better. I think they had a dodgy uh, bruschetta, and I, I think that, uh, that may have affected him in all sorts of ungodly ways. Okay. That's all, all I'll say. <laughs> Matt and I suited up and kept the company going on the Wednesday. Mate, I tell you what, those, those two lightweights, they've got uh, nothing, mate. Nothing. They've got nothing. Nothing, exactly right. Look, look at the list of people we had to go oh, Mate, we had to do it all, and you had to take control of the camera, you were videoing, I was in the meetings. All I can say is, mate, the A team. The A team, correct. Oh, day three, woke up feeling $1 million. I think it was the night before. We got a Shake Shack burger into us and it was fantastic. But day three, um, what a day. So also at Bushnell are the new Fusion X range find and binos. Fantastic product, value for money is incredible with the new active display, which is a superb feature. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm Carlos from Bushnell here at SHOT 2022, walking you through the new Fusion X ranging binocular. So we just came out with this, really trying to make a range finding binocular that is accessible to a lot of people but still has a ton of performance. So this has uh, the ability to range out to one mile and reflected targets. An easy 10 by 42 size. Looks like your standard 10 by 42, no weird kind of additions or size because of the ranging functionality. Uh, this also has everything you'd expect from a binocular in terms of uh, low light performance and the quality. Uh, with the fully multi-coated lenses and everything in there. But it also has, uh, with the ActiSync display, the ability to have it change from a black display to a red display based on the uh, ambient light you have. So as you get into dusk and dawn, it'll turn to that red display and be uh, really easy to see against uh, your environment. Match that with the uh, optical quality so you can make sure you know what you're arranging. This is a great option. Uh, two in one, really easy to use. Uh, everything you'd expect in our rangefinder in a high quality binocular. The X10 Progressive Press. The Australian market's been waiting for this patiently. It's coming, we saw it. What a great product. Here's Jared to tell you more. Jared here with Frankfurt Arsenal, SHOT Show 2022. I'm excited to show you the new X10 Progressive Press that we launched. It's a 10 stage progressive press. It includes everything you see, including the case feeder. The only thing you have to buy is shell plate and your dies. So for whatever caliber you're gonna load, 10 stations, it has case feed in the first station. We have a unique dual decapping option here. Both spent primers feed into the one, one catch. You can come out the front of the bench or through the bench, your choice. Also, 
uh, pretty unique is a on-press swage feature. So you can swage that print primer pocket right on the press. It has a primer system that's prime on the downstroke. You have two stations here that are optional after prime. You can ex do case mouth expansion or some sort of trim operation. It's case activated, so when the case drops, if it gets stuck in a up position, instead of making a bunch of squibs, it will actually force reset this down as it comes up. So there's a built-in safety mechanism there. After that, you have a spot for a powder check die, station for bullet seat, and a station for bullet crimp. We will sell the tool head separately and the powder measure separately. So if somebody wants to set up a whole caliber conversion, they can have that option. And it's pretty quick, a few simple bolts and all that'll come off and you can do a caliber switch over really quick. To find out more about the X10 Progressive Press, visit the NIA website. Guys, Brad from NIA TV here and we're at the Remington stand at the 2022 SHOT Show. So new to Remington's line of ammunition this year is the core lock tipped. So built on their legendary core lock projectile, this is sure to be a winner with Australian hunters. Modern technology has advanced to the point where it was time that we took the core lock. We said, what can you do to a bullet that is as good as core lock? Well, how about you put a tip in it, give it a little bit sleeker profile, give it a higher ballistic coefficient, put a boat tail on it, and call it core lock tip. Bullets, when you dig them out of the animals, you can't tell the difference between a core lock and a core lock tip. It's when the bullet's in flight that the core lock tip has an advantage over core lock. It's about 15% more accurate on average than core lock, which is already phenomenally accurate. This is a long range opportunity, sub minute of angle, about half a minute of angle accuracy. Both of them use the core locking technology. Uh, this one's just got the big green polymer tip in it to give it that higher ballistic coefficient. This is new for this year. If you like core lock, you're gonna love core lock tip. If you love core lock, stick with it. If you're looking to up your game and probably extend your range, consider core lock tip. The Loophole stand is always a great stand to visit because they are leaders in the optics field. And I tell you what, the Loophole Mark V HD is no exception. Hi, I'm John Snodgrass. We're here at the uh, Loophole booth at SHOT Show 2022. And we're gonna talk about the Mark V HD. Uh, this particular scope is a seven to 35 with a 56 millimeter objective. All of our Mark Vs have a 35 millimeter main tube, which gives you up to 35 mils of travel, depending on which model. Uh, the scope is available in a 3.6 to 18 power with a 44 millimeter objective, a 5 to 25 with a 56, or this 7 to 35 with a 56 millimeter objective. They all have our zero lock elevation adjustment dial. Locks at zero to keep you from any in inadvertently changing your zero. Uh, it's a three turn dial with a revolution indicator so you never get lost in your travel. Available with or without illumination. And they all come with a removable power selector throw lever. Makes it nice and smooth and, and quick to make power changes. Something new in our Mark V line is our PR2 reticle. It's available in mill or MOA versions. Set up like a, a Christmas tree, tree style reticle, very clean, very very crisp, doesn't cover up a lot of your field of view, uh, but still very effective and very fast to use. For more information, check out the NIA website or loophole.com. Well boys, I don't know about you, but I have absolutely wrecked. I, can, I, can't, I cannot walk another step. But hey, hasn't this been a great opportunity? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, just getting back to that face-to-face -face meetings really uh, holds us in good stead. Shrekie, you've enjoyed yourself, mate? I loved it. Every minute of it, SHOT Show is always a great time. Great to catch up with friends and, uh, and partners that we only get to see very, very few times a year. Money did you lose, Shreggy? Uh. We'll move on, we'll move on. Well, fellas, we made it back. Don't forget, if you'd like to know any more information about any of the products that we've talked about, you can visit our website at www.naya.com.au. You can check out our YouTube channel, you can visit us on Facebook, and you can stalk us on Instagram. And don't forget, you can see us next time on Naya TV! TV.